This is a tutorial video on how to install and insert the F1 2020 Ultimate Career Mod. You probably found this tutorial from the link in the downloaded file. First of all, I recommend you to install the game in English to prevent crashes and bugs caused by the name changer. But it's not a must. There are four more links in this file. These are the base files and the add-on files. First of all, I would like to give you some information about the download, as there was often complaints and it is important that it is at the beginning of this video, so you can see it. If you are not interested, jump directly to the base file installation via the capture feature in YouTube. You have two download options, once via the mega platform and once via the drive. Both options are the best I have found providing my mod signs. The links are limited on Dropbox and my account now has a 5GB limit on it. On Waste Department the file sizes are limited to 500MB. On Nexus mods you have to register as both an uploader and a downloader with a paid subscription to download their mods and it's more expensive and inaccessible than Mega. That's why my community agreed with me on Drive and Mega. However, both providers still have their problems. Mega has a daily download limit of 5GB per IP address. If you want to download more, change your IP when downloading or get Mega Pro. At Drive, the download link is blocked for 24 hours if access to the link becomes too large. If it's not working right now, try again in 24 hours. Unfortunately, I can't make the mod available on more platform because my internet is not good enough to upload the mod regularly and make it available on more than two platforms at the same time. Because uploading the mod always takes quite a long time. Since the general problems have been eliminated, we now come to the installation. You have to download both files first. Once the base files and then the add-on files. The base files contain the complete 1998 season and the basics of the mod such as sub-programs, intro, additional folders for the mod, etc. You now go to your Steam and press right click and then properties. Then you go to the updates and set your game to always keep this game updated. This is the lowest priority level and prevents Steam from checking your game on startup when you're clicking on the game. Since F1 2020 is now a few years old, there will probably no longer be any updates for the game and the game will no longer update that way. Then you go to local files and click on browse. Now your F1 2020 folder opens. Go back one folder to common and you are in your Steam game directory. Now you open the file F1 Ultimate Career Mod and move the F1 2020 folder into your common folder. Very important, not in your F1 2020 folder, otherwise you will have an F1 2020 folder in another F1 2020 folder and the game will not find the file path of the mod. This is a problem that happens to many when installing the mod. After the installation you can check if everything worked by going into your F1 2020 folder. We have to go in there again soon anyway and see if the folders modular mods and action maps are in there. If both are in the folder you have pulled the mod in correctly. As you can see installing my mod is just a simple drag and drop task. The mod is now correctly and completely installed. Now comes the use of the name changer in the new version. Carrickson, a member of my team added the exe files from an old version of F1 2020 in the mod. This way you can use the name changer again as easily as before. So if you had problems before, this will help you. You go to the F1 name changer folder and set a quick access to it. You must always repeat the following step when you start F1 2020 with the mod. You start your game normally, which has installed the mod after successful installation. Once you are in the main menu, minimize the game and start the name changer. Now click right to F1. If a pop-up window comes up that says use custom offsets, click on never or no. If you did that, the names should display it correctly for you in-game. 
Now we come to the last point, the add-on content. In the add-on content file you find different things, like the addition of all other seasons from 1999 to 2007. Depending on when you download this version, there may be more folders in here than just 1999 and 2000. Furthermore, you will also find the folder additional content in which there are other things such as the helmets of the drivers with the original 1998 sponsors or for models, a template with PNG files of the helmet sponsors in it, in case the drivers change teams. Over time other things could come into the additional content area that are not yet included in the mod at the time this tutorial was recorded. The last folder is the My Team Skins. If you want to make a My Team career with the mod, the skins and logos for your My Team Racing Team are in here. The list will expand over time. If you want to install any content, proceed it as with the base files. Find the content you want, e.g. you are in the season transition from 1998 to 1999 season. Then you click the 1999 season and take the F1 2020 folder in here. And also overwrite it again with your F1 2020 folder in the common folder. Whenever you want to install content, always look for the F1 2020 folder in the content you want to install and overwrite it, as indicated above. It is important that you are not in an active race weekend in your career when you install new content. Otherwise, your safe data may be corrupted. That was all of the tutorial for now. If you have any further problems or questions, then get in touch via my Discord and write in the problems channel. I or people from my community will then help you with it. Have fun with the mod, maybe we'll hear on soon. Keep racing.